ഐഡൽവർഷ lest he would be forced to destroy them on their way to the promised land it's same with us too sometimes something bad happens to us due to our own mistake and we wonder where do we go from there sometimes we feel that the lord god has left us Verse 2 and 3, we read that God still would give them the promised land though he was angry with them at their idol worship. The Lord keeps his promise, but he did not want to go with them. Instead, he decided to send an angel to go with them. In fact, this angel was God himself. but god will not be there close to them he will not remain with them in close proximity it will be an angel going with them the lord was testing them too asking them if they want god or just the land looking just for safety on their way and get the land and not God. Sometimes God tests us too. God is asking the same question to us too. Do we want the Lord in our life or do we look for prosperity in life? Health, wealth, better job, education, happy family, etc. and not God. looking for only blessings but not the giver of all the blessings we want good life but not the lord god some of us do that we should long for jesus in full measure we can have everything in the world but if jesus is not in it all become empty in verse 4 we read that god said he would keep distance from his people upon hearing this people understood this as bad news they wanted their lord god to go with them as soon as they heard this bad news they mourned and no one put on their ornaments their repentance was showed in action mourning and getting rid of sin as believers we love the lord but sometimes we don't want to get rid of sins we live as worldly people compromising our belief people of israel they mourned they took off all their decorations on their body a sign of displaying their repentance no time for decoration it was time for mourning and repentance humility fear and mourning and repentance was not the time for excitement or party it was time to repent they needed to repent true repentance coming from heart is evident outwardly by the way we live golden calf was made of their ornaments they did not want those kinds of ornaments anymore again that caused them to sin they stripped off from them this was in their way to repent they removed them the ornaments reminded them of the golden calf 
they ride their sin later on they used all their riches and gold for god true repentance will always be clearly seen in one's life by the way we live a repentant heart is a changed heart desiring to please the lord in every areas of life in verse 7 we read that moses made a tent of mourning moses set up the tent to spend time with god moses wanted to see how many would separate for repentance and come inside the tent he wanted to know how truly they are repenting and separating from the crowd there should be some element of separation in our lives too to get god's favor if absolutely unwilling to get separated from the world there is only so far one can go will be stuck or find no way out seeking the lord means separation from ungodly people and things in verse 9 we read that the lord god answered moses prayer and people had a true repentance and separation as a result god's cloud of pillar descended and stood at the door of their tent God's presence right there glory of God came upon their tent after their true repentance and separation people responded they rose up and worshiped the Lord God almighty what do we learn from this incident dear my sisters dear my listeners Israel had their recognition of their need for god they truly repented they sought after god when god revealed himself he came at the door of their tent in the cloud they recognized him god revealed himself our lord jesus is greater than moses He is interceding for us. Let's come to God through Jesus daily repenting of our sins. Get rid of things in our lives, whatever is hindering our repentance. And let us seek Jesus daily in our life and enjoy the presence of God. God will reveal himself to us through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord.